hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome welcome please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you stick around i thank you for that so we're just gonna hop straight in i just received this uh kinky straight um all burn wig from wig pretty and as you can see everything that came inside of the package was a wig cap or edge brush and then her thank you cards i truly love the color of this wig the knots were too big they were perfect just enough to where they i know that they're gonna bleach very very well so just get into the knots and it came with three to four combs and in inside just little straps and we're just gonna hop straight in so i used a color remover and a 40 value developer to basically um tone and lighten up those knots i put a little bit too much volume developer but it's no worries at all it doesn't really matter to me because they're still going to be bleach um just as good as if i were to make it thick as toothpaste that's how we usually do so it's not a problem at all we went ahead and started it like i said it was a little bit too much you know but <laughs> it thickened up low key though after a while like once i let it sit it thickened up just a little bit but it's still not a problem because those knots were perfect okay um i think the color i think i'm gonna start just using color remover versus bleach on black hair i want to see how that looks you think it's gonna look ugly i don't know <laughs> look at me like you're gonna respond but anyways i kept this on for i believe about like uh i want to say 10 minutes because trust me that this stuff works fast and i think the looser you have it the faster it works in my opinion just from making this mistake right here i felt like the the knots bleach way way faster so i set my time it's about 30 minutes and as i told you i only kept it on that for like 10 minutes because when i checked it i was like whoa those knots bleach fast and in my opinion as well i felt like <laughs> bleaching knots on color hair looks absolutely beautiful I, I was just so impressed so you guys know i neutralized the um the wig just to stop the bleaching process because we definitely don't want that to happen and it'll lessen the um it'll lessen the wig from shedding and stripping of any more color so look at the wig it is so pretty and the knots bleach perfectly i mean absolutely beautiful honestly and it was lighter but you couldn't even tell you honestly could not tell once everything was together so i went ahead and put that silicone mix and then the crystal clear because we want to bring back the hydration into that color hair and as well as bringing some shine to it so i mixed those two together because I'm telling you, these, this combo right here is like beautiful. I mean, for any hair texture, any hair color, this right here is going to have your wig beautiful, shiny, and smelling absolutely delicious. I mean, like I smell my hair in the wind all day. <laughs> I get a whiff of it, I'll be like, mm, this wig smells delicious. It just smells like really fresh like even if you put heat on it it just smells super super fresh i don't know what it is but it's it smells absolutely good so i let that sit up on that hair for about i don't know five minutes at the most and then i went ahead and washed it out and i had it on like cool water i don't use hot water when i rinse this out i kind of use like cold, cold to like cool so that way it can lock that uh product can lock into those tresses honey and then look at it she's beautiful that like bleached auburn like it stripped the color and it gave it like a really really ombre effect and i love it get into it get into that scalp get into those roots she's beautiful 10 out of 10.
it's on the mannequin and ready to go i'm just checking it out and getting the feel of the hair because this is my first time actually wearing this particular texture and i was just like really intrigued like i was super excited but nonetheless we're just gonna do the same process but just you know with a little bit more care i went in straight in and basically plucked the knots i kind of like didn't do too much plucking because this was already kind of like pre-plucked just a little bit so i didn't really want to do too much plucking and you know overdoing it i just did a little plucking not too much just lightly in the front and on the sides and as you guys know i pluck on the angle i do not pluck straight back i like plucking on a natural angle because whenever you like put it in a ponytail you wear it down it just gives like really really natural you know scalp and also when you look at your real hairline your like hair do not just go straight back it all it's always at an angle especially when you have it down so that's just the way i like to plug if you want a more more like super in-depth tutorial please let me know I'm, I'm i got more wigs to do sis so just let me know if you want it and you got it okay so boom we're gonna continue to plug i just like i said i'm trust me this video is sped up but i was taking my time with this wig because she's beautiful and she needs to be handled with care this is kinky straight and you know we got to make sure that she's a one period so i am using the heat protecting by cream of nature and i'm just gonna spray that saturated actually because usually i don't put too much of this and then my cheese silk infusion these two combination unstoppable to have your wigs super bouncy shiny and just really really like ugh, beautiful period and um i actually put a decent amount of the both of these products on here because like i said this is a different type of texture whenever i'm using like really fine straight hair i don't use a lot of it probably a dime size to go a long way but since it's a different texture i kind of like went a little heavy on it but not too much to where it was like way down so you guys see how i'm blow drying it i'm basically taking a brush and like flipping it because it'll allow the hair well it'll allow the air to hit every single strand of hair and also to give it kind of like a bounce or like a bump to it if that makes sense and also i don't go to i never went to cosmetology school so don't think i'm an expert i just know how to blow dry hair because <laughs> it's just basic knowledge you know what i mean but i just find that blow drying it this way is just really beautiful and it's like a chasing method without the flat iron with a blow dryer so just get into it so this is her all blow dry and she's beautiful i mean look get into that hairline like it is absolutely beautiful i just keep saying beautiful like how many times did i say beautiful if you can count how many times i said beautiful during this tutorial i'm gonna give you a shout out on my tiktok <laughs> so i went in with my uh, pressing comb pay attention to how flat i got the pressing comb i am not dragging it like a regular comb i am having it flat because honey it gets this hair nice and flat like this and it's just to die for like get into it that is the end of this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it as always please feel free to hit that subscribe button before you guys leave don't forget to like and comment on this video and as always nevertheless never stress and always bless be on the lookout for part two of when i install this beautiful wig and thanks again for watching bye